So you might be wondering how those potatoes went in the old feed bags that we planted them in. Well, today we're gonna to dig them out and we're gonna see if there's some buried treasure in here or not. It's Rachel here from Bush Edge Homesteading Australia and today is the day we're going to find out how effective these old feed bags were as planters for growing potatoes. Now you can probably see here that there was one issue that I have had and that's that this thing has kind of slumped and fallen over and that's probably uh, one of the learnings that I've had is that as I filled that up it didn't really have enough structure to hold itself up and you can see how it's kind of now laying over the ground. Now that might have partially been my fault because I probably wasn't pushing it out into the sides of the bag enough. So I'm gonna, I'm still gonna give this a go again, but what I'm gonna do is try and push that soil right out into the sides and fill it out and then kind of, I don't know, not compact it, but build it up in a way where there's a little bit more structure around the sides. And I might also look and see about putting a couple of maybe posts like these wooden ones here on the side. And maybe that'll help hold it up as well once it starts um, any sign that it's actually going to slump. Yeah, so that's one of the things that I definitely learned from doing this. And I will say we have had a extreme season here with lots and lots of rain and stuff. And that definitely didn't help with this situation at all. G'day Coops, it's come to say hello. Um, yeah, so when you're having rain events like 108 millimetres of rain all in one, that definitely kind of saturates things and I did notice it slumped quite a lot after that as well. But I was finding, you know, especially early on, it was quite effective, you know, rolling it up, adding more material, building it up and getting a bit of height and I'm kind of hoping that those stems did kind of extend up and that I got some nice potatoes growing on those in there. But what we're going to do is we're going to pull those out and have a look in a second. Now, because it was going so effectively, I actually put in a second one, which is this one over here. And this one here is actually still standing up quite well. well you can see it's slumped a little bit as I move around the side here. But um, yeah, that one's, um, I don't know, probably a little more filled. And that has kind of held itself up a little bit better I think as a result of that. That's a different type of potato that I popped in there. It was actually some leftover ones that I had from up near Rawson. There's a bit of a roadside stand up there when you go for, for trips and you can get some beautiful potatoes off the roadside stand and I planted a couple of those. So that's why these ones here look a little bit different to the ones that I planted here which were those little teeny tiny potatoes. If you didn't see that video where we planted this out perhaps you want to go back and have a bit of a look at that. As I said I was actually quite happy with these so the other thing that I've done and I need to do some weeding over here so you're going to see some real garden realities over here right now. <laughs> Hubby's been really good and he's done lots of grass cutting but what I haven't done yet is gone in here and hand pulled around these ones and these ones here have a couple of pumpkins in them and they're starting to run now um, with a little bit of heat although we still haven't had a lot of heat here so yeah I'm not sure how we're going to go with actually getting pumpkins but it's nice to see we're starting to get a few flowers on those. All right let's kind of move back over here because what I want to do is show you how we're going to harvest these potatoes and see how they're going today and I have got my youngest over here at the moment and he has been very busily preparing this bed here which is actually where we had our in-ground potatoes to date. There's another one there. Now you can see they're actually pretty small aren't they? Do you want to show us that one again? There we go. Just That's... got this one out of the ground. You just got that one? Yep. Awesome and these are all the other ones you've been getting and Cooper's giving us his ball as well. <laughs> you might want to throw that. Um, yeah so you can see these are all like really small potatoes. The potato plants themselves were starting to die back so that's kind of how we knew we needed to pull this out. This bed here we've had our potatoes in for quite a few years which is not really the done thing with potatoes so we're actually gonna stop growing in this bed here. We're gonna add a little bit of goodness to the soil. We're getting out all the weeds as well today aren't we? Yep. 
Yep. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to put some of our Cape gooseberries in here. That's the plan. But what we're going to do first is actually use this as a bit of a space to dump out that potato bag that we're here to see how it went. And um, my thought is there was lots of really good manure and stuff in there, as you would have seen from that other video. That can then all go into this bed as well. So let's go grab that and bring it over. Alrighty, this one's going to be a bit heavy, so I think I'm going to do this one. Let's see if I can move it and get it up the top. Now I'll be recording. Yes, you will. Now remember that this one here, what we did is we put soil in there, but we also put straw in there as well. So, oh, I can't pick that up, so it's going to be a matter of dragging it up the hill. And then we can dump that out. Ooh, can do it. Oh, can I do it? <laughs> Of course we can. Alright, well, I reckon the first thing we should do is let's pull out the plants themselves. Oh, I'll make I sure I see a bunch of potatoes oh, you can. on that. They're also not looking that big yet, are they? Now, I'm not going to put the leafy matter over the fence because we've got sheep and uh, yeah, the leaves can actually be quite poisonous so I don't want to uh, throw those over the side so I'll just chuck those straight in the compost. But I do want to get all these little potatoes off first because that's obviously what we want to take inside and harvest yeah they are pretty teeny tiny aren't they yeah but we must remember we did start with little potatoes in this one as well and I think over the years our potato seed out of our garden has just kind of got worse and worse so we're definitely not going to plant from them again but anyway it looks like we might have a few to do little new potatoes for a roast what I'm gonna do is put the potatoes from earlier, which are the ones from this garden bed here, on this side. And then I'm going to put these ones on this side here. And I can already see they're a bit of a different colour. And that way we can get a bit of an idea on how much we've got out of each area. Alright, do you want to start pulling out as well? And we'll see if we can put all the green stuff, maybe in a pile. Let's put that over here for now. You just got a big one out. Oh, that's a little bit better. Alright, you want to pop that one in? Yep. Oh, no, on this side here because we'll keep all these ones together over here and then we'll get the potatoes off these green ones that'll all go in the compost in a second and then we'll tip this out and see what we've got than the other ones that we had but they're still not huge but I do think we just need to remember that we started with those teeny tiny kind of waste seed potatoes that were sitting inside like if you didn't see that video where we planted that out it really is worth having a bit of a look at what we started with so um, so far I'm actually not too uh, displeased with what we're getting here I reckon we've got to get our hands right in there oh look at that if we start yeah. moving it around, there's more in there. We're getting a lot of jackpots in here. <laughs> yes, there is. So it's like buried treasure when you're uh, digging for potatoes. Mm. My favourite part is when you find all these worms. Because, like, I love, like, look at how long he is. He is. Because they really help your soil out. Yep. Help to grow things like that, hey? There's definitely a lot in there. And we did put a lot of manure into that compost that we grew all of these in. And that's actually one of the reasons I wanted to put this um, soil from that planter into this bed here because, you know, there's still a lot of goodness in there and that will go and enrich this bed. 
oh, we've got to make sure we get all these little bits out as well because even though that is teeny, teeny tiny, if we leave those little tiny potatoes in this bed, that's actually going to grow potatoes. And if you haven't grown potatoes in the ground before, just be aware, it can actually get a little bit weedy. Um, yeah, we started off with some potatoes in uh, like our main garden bed areas. And for years and years, I was trying to get potatoes out of those beds because they just kept on popping up. So do just be aware of that. And I think that's one of the reasons that I'm going to prefer using those bags as well. Oh, <laughs> double bonus. There are a couple of good ones. Happy with that. All right, I think that's finally every single potato out of that. And that material is really going to enrich the soil in here. So super happy about that too. What do you reckon of this potato harvest? Um, I reckon it went pretty well, but there's, I think that the plastic bag had way more and bigger potatoes in it yeah. than what the, um, than what this garden bed. Yeah, out of that whole big bed, we definitely got far better potatoes than we got from the bed. So remembering these are all from this bed here and these here were all from that feed bag. And the interesting thing with this experiment is all of these were grown from the same kind of seed potato, which is the potatoes that have been coming out of this bed kind of year on year. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But do you know what I'm really excited to do now? Boil them? Well, I am excited to eat some, but I'm actually even more excited to go down, have a look at that other bag where we had the bigger potatoes that we got from Rawson and to see how big those ones are. You want to go do that now? Yeah. Cool. But that means I'm going to have to drag another one of those up the hill. Uh, you're probably noticing this plant here hasn't died back as much as the other one yet and I did plant that one hmm it was probably maybe even about a month after I planted this one here so it's not been growing as long but just having gone through that experience of digging the other potatoes particularly the ones that were in the ground some of them had started getting a little bit rotty already so even though it hasn't died back we'll uh, we'll dig these out now this one's not as heavy as the other one. Oh gosh, it is. Oh, but I reckon I can drag this one up the hill too. Ugh. Actually, I reckon this one's heavier because I did pack the dirt in a little bit firmer. Whew. Do you need a hand? <laughs> I don't think you can help with this one, Goose, but thank you. We're almost there. Almost. Come on, the gun bed's just up ahead. <laughs> Made it. Do you want to start pulling out all those green leafy bits? And again, we'll pop them over here so the sheep don't eat them. Nothing. Oh, I think these ones are going to be a bit deeper down. So let's keep on pulling. You did the hard work of dragging it. I'm doing the hard work of pulling them out. Awesome. Oh, oh, that looks a little bit better. Let's just take that off. That's a bit rotten. Oh, okay. That's one of the seed potatoes then. So, Ooh. where should I put it? Have we gone too early? Let's just test one more of these. That's got a little potato growing on it. It might be a little too early. So what I'm going to do is kind of dig down on the side here. Oh, hang on. Maybe not. Whoa. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. And it's a really hard one. It is. See, and that's what we're looking for. A good way to tell if your potato is rotten or not is if it's hard. Yep. Then it's not rotten. If it's all squishy and mushy, it's it's rotten or rotting. Yep. So it is very good when you get a massive one like this that's actually really hard. Yep. And where are you? Oh, I reckon we should start a special pile for these ones. Like there? Oh, I reckon even. Let's pop them on the outside so we can see how many we get just from this bag. All right, okay. let's keep pulling them. I was a bit hesitant for a second there because I was actually thinking maybe we needed to leave these go for a little bit longer. But now that we've pulled that one out, I reckon we do pull these. 
and hopefully there's a few more. That is that size there, because that, look at the size of that. That is really, really cool. Whoa. Hmm. Now this one's a little bit interesting because I haven't seen that on any of our potatoes before and uh, I'm kind of hoping that's not some disease that's come in with those particular ones there. What we might do is actually not dump this soil into this area here until I know exactly what's going on with this one. I might Google it after we finish this or if anyone's got any ideas I'll get you to pop that in the comments for me because that will definitely help me out as well. Um, yeah because we did bring these in from a source where it was non kind of registered you know sold for purpose seed potato and it was kind of potatoes that had grown from a farm off the side of a road. I don't want to introduce anything into the garden. Hmm. We're going to dump this out on the grass over here. It's right above some of our fruit trees, so it'll be good for some nutrients into the soil around these as well. Oh my Ooh, god! Wow. But yeah, just quarantines this soil just in case that is like a, a fungal issue that could transfer to anything else, for example. That's wow. It's like bigger than my, almost bigger than my entire hand. That is so cool. And it looks like there's some really big ones in here. Oh wow, another one. Oh, look at these, look at these. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. They're everywhere. Actually, that might be one of the seed ones, so. No, but I don't remember them being that big when we planted them. There is some little ones in here. I wonder if I could have let these go a little bit longer and we would have got more big potatoes. But yeah, there is some good ones in here. Not sure about that though. So let's pop that to the side. Let's put these over here so we don't lose them. Oh, there's lots of little bits again in here. Those to the side. Oh, wait, I just found a massive one. You did? Yeah. Look. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's almost bigger than my, both of my hands. That is humongous. I reckon that is our potato of the day. Yay! All right, you want to pop that with these two? Yeah. This is really cool because we only had a couple of potatoes that we put into that bed. We've definitely got a few more and I reckon there's still some more in here. So how about we keep digging? Yep. So this is everything that we've harvested today. These were the ones that we got from the ground over here, which are all really quite small. Even the bigger ones in there, they're not the biggest potatoes in the world, but I'll still be able to roast those up and kind of use them as new little roasted potatoes. So that's why we still keep them, they're still useful. But I'm definitely gonna give up on this garden bed in the ground. These ones here were a little bit better. These were, again, the same potato type that we planted from the same kind of potato seed. But they definitely ended up a little bit bigger. So I'm pretty happy with some of these ones here. There's a few that I'd be able to even peel that and use that in kind of like mash and stuff like that. But again, lots of those little teeny tiny potatoes there too. But you're most excited about these ones, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that why you're mounding them all up in your hands at the moment? Yep. So this here is our potato harvest from those Rawson potatoes. I'm not quite sure what the variety was, but my goodness, they are very, very good sized potatoes. Super duper happy with those. Now, when we uh, pulled them all out, there really was just that one that we had that kind of, look at that fungal stuff on. Might be like a scab or something. I think it was this one here. And with all the, you know, the extreme weather that we've been having, probably not too surprising that we've had that but yeah look how big some of these are oh my gosh that is one big potato there these ones here these nice new ones though they're probably going to be even better so there you go that is how our potatoes went growing them in the potato bags will I grow them in there again most definitely 
definitely giving up on growing in the ground now and I'm going to move to those bags but I do think the trick with them is going to be just supporting them and you're kind of packing the material in there a little bit more and hopefully we grow a lot more potatoes that are like this one here so thanks a bunch for joining guys and catch you later, catch you later.